How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk about the safety check features on iPhone while well, Apple introduced these safety check features with the latest iOS 16. Now a lot of people sometimes ask a question like well what do they need to do in order to protect their iPhone from hackers? Now these features let you know with whom application you're sharing all of your information at the same time with anybody if you share any information like your location access and more then this feature actually tells you how you can shake all of these things out. At the same time, if you feel like your information has been leaked to any unauthorized person, then you simply can protect your iPhone by following this process. Now, the first things we're going to talk about here is you just got to go ahead and open up your settings and then scroll down here and tap on privacy and security. Now, if you scroll down a little, you'll be able to see this new option called safety check. Now, if you open this up here first, this is going to show you the emergency reset first. Now, you need this option, especially if you are giving the access to third party application or if you're thinking, well, maybe your information is getting leaked, then you can simply come over here and you can simply choose this option called emergency reset in order to stop sharing your personal information with any third party apps or with even a person. There's another option called manage sharing and access. And if you come over here and if it asks you for the password, just enter it here, scroll down, tap and continue here. Now this is going to show you or this is going to give you two different options. First, this is going to show you the people and information. So people, it works for the contacts that you have on your phone and the information, it works for a third party application. Well, if you want to just remove or stop sharing your personal information with an individual people or any third-party application well you can simply remove it from here although we don't have anything to share I mean we're not sharing anything with anybody or not with even an application here so you can simply choose application or anything from here to remove it or you can choose this option called select all and stop sharing and if you tap this one this is gonna show you this stop all sharing now this is gonna put you through on a setup now you have to just tap and continue now tap and continue and tap and continue again and now it's going to say review your security. Now first, this is going to check out all the device that is currently using your same Apple ID will appear here. So if you don't want to share your across to your other device with your same Apple account, so you can remove this device just by selecting them from here. And then you can tap on oh, remove selected device, then those devices will be removed from your iPhone. Also, you can check out your trusted phone number. Well, trusted phone number is important for your iPhone, so you can double check that if you see or found your trusted number is not yours, then of course you can change it or you can add a new trusted number. So since this is our trusted number, so I'll just tap on continue. Now, you can update Apple ID password directly from here. So if you think, well, your information is being leaked out, well, this is highly recommendable for you all to change or update your password. Since we don't want to really change your password, so I'll tap on update later in settings. Now, you also can choose your emergency contacts. So I'll tap on continue here. Now, it says update device password. Now, this is actually telling you to change all the things that you are currently using on your iPhone to get a better safety. So I'm going to skip that part as well. So I'll skip the face ID as well. Now you say safety check complete. Now you can simply scroll down here, tap on done, and now you're all done. All right guys, so this is how you guys can use the safety check features on your iPhone, and this is how you can get to know how many people and with which application that you're currently sharing your information with. Hope you find this video useful. If you think so, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.